Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode of your program winner Salon Morning Discoveries with me Kuna Sisi. Viewers today inside the program are there with a very gentle man. We happen for be the founder and executive director for Citizens Forum for Democratic Accountability. We come for talk about a civil society organization we then just launched a couple of days ago we in the C4D and also for talk about plans then we get for C that the organization push go before. Mr. Marcos Bangora, hello to you and welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Yes. To start with, Fambule Ngolek for no for somebody we know ever hear the name Marcos Bangora. Who that na Marcos Bangora? Uh, Marcos Bangora is a civil society activist okay. and an uh, educationist as well. Uh, we don't serve as a teacher. I don't serve in the public sector. I work in Ratcom. A graduate get a BA, get LLB, then also a postgraduate degree. All right. Be it that Married is. and have kids. <laughs> okay, that's so. wonderful. Be it that you just don't launch your own organization where you happen to be the founder and executive director, is it that you don't dare into this world for some time now and you don't dare advocate for people? Yes, of course. Um, advocacy, I would say, an integral part of me because even before I go into advocacy formally, I would always be that kind of person that would advocate for people, even for my school days, advocate for colleagues and all that. Then, even way, me not be teacher, advocate for people. They may administration most time they get issues them. Then I come into activism. And what bring me come into activism uh, because uh, I suffer injustice. Okay. The graduates in law, the victimized we, we no go to law school. So and people are not be there around for fetch for we. So me say, me no go sit down, other people will go through the hell, myself no do advocacy for them. So like a major factor that will inspire me okay. for go into one formally. Okay. All right. Um due to experience and all you decide yeah. to say, well, make a come in so that what thing happens to me, other people will not go suffer the same issues, yeah. But then what thing has some of the platform then we you don't they use for see that you advocate for people? Yeah, I don't use various platforms. I use social media, especially Facebook. I use, um, of course, radio and television. Then one-on-one -on -one engagement, community engagement. So like now some of the means then this way, we don't do not do advocacy because I was also the, f the, the executive director for Democracy Sierra Leone before I come into C4D. All right. As the executive director for Democracy Sierra Leone, what are some of the issues then we maybe they look at? Um, we they focus mainly on democracy and good governance, okay. um, human rights, as well as um, rule of law. Um, in fact, we get a consortium we comprise of almost about 20 civil societies. That is uh, the consortium for good governance, human rights, and democracy. And I mean, I'm the national coordinator okay. for that particular consortium day. So we don't use various ways. We don't do mostly, we, they, we they do public education as well. Increase public awareness on issues. We don't undertake a lot, a lot of things. For example, um, far back in 2018, there was a, a crisis on my 91. We, um, military officers, or let me say security personnel then go, we, they end up for kill one person. We go to the scene, we do investigation, um, police we get um, press conference, we go, we challenge the day, the video was all over the place because we see say there was some amount of injustice in it. So we've been very, we come out strong, we give giving for all press conference, as large office, we'll bring the, the people that were affected, like the person that we killed in Dadi, a big woman, instead of a small picking, a huge lot of people there. So we don't do that. We don't go a lot, a lot of areas, the McKinney um, 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 crisis under the consortium because for you to qualify for being a member of the consortium, you for belong to a registered, a legally registered um, organization. So we go, at that time, I was the secretary general for the organization. We go to McKinney. Then at the end of the day, we come out with reports. And when we go, we make sure say, we interview all stakeholders. And there we are pictorial evidence to that. We go to the barrack, we interview the we go to the mayor of McKinney, we interview the people that we die, uh, we die them, their family members, we interview them, put all things together. Because we also, they make sure they do research. We do research, we do reporting. 
or they do special studies depending on the situation at hand. So these are various channels for make we able for source with information, okay. uh, for make we also able for educate the public, uh, for also prevent certain vices in society. All right. You don't talk more of the methods and channels the same way you don't not done the use and um, before now for see that for give justice to people. But then be it that now they go through all lane, then channel and lane. Let me talk about the difficulties we involve in advocating. Um, in terms of difficulties, at the order of the day, a lot of challenges. Funding are one, very, very difficult. Make us say, um, society sometimes, they look at certain people and differently just because then they critique issues. And we, they do constructive criticism. And I make, I always say, I don't work for government. I work with government. The responsibility uh, for work with government because there is no way you can say they work for government. But I guess that especially with areas of intervention and good governance. Now under C4D, the accountability. You understand? The accountability and transparency are features of good governance. You understand? Yeah. So most times, if government didn't have power, they're not going to let you. They didn't let you business. For example, this um, press conference we, we hold recently, you find out, say, you get people from the other side, if you say, we the come for comfort government. I make them very clear, say, we are not fighting government. We are working with government because we're not going to succeed. If we and government not collaborate, it's a matter of collaboration. We need to really work together because we intention accountability, as the name implies, it means feedback. You understand? You then give responsibility if you're able to give feedback because you will get experience through learning. You understand? Then the informed consent of the government. So as a result of that, every individual, every society, government institutions or public institutions, all for be accountable. So we want a situation for all them into account. We don't get the powers, but we get the means, the voice. You understand? We the voice them out, we the investigate, we get you to get for a particular institution, we bring a come out. We lobby with government. Because no government of a car, a power, or government don't appoint an individual, say this is the role you should play. Okay. The idea of the mess up. We also not say there is a dichotomy difference between um, responsibility and accountability. Responsibility, then they give you. This is your responsibility. Manage this place, that is your responsibility. A different from accountability. They really give accountability. Accountability based on integrity. For make sure say, I should be accountable. This amount of money has been given to me. I have spent it. That this one left. I will be accountable. That is feedback. The only sense in short of democratic accountability is feedback. You understand? Give feedback to the people, make them able to understand. You get the aspect of transparency. Say, for example, um, transparency in our information. If we be transparent, if we make the public know what you do, especially for government institutions. So if you work safe, you understand, you get people away accountable too. So if you're not transparent, you know, they don't give you, you don't get funding, or government don't give you say that this thing for do, then you're not transparent. We don't give you for know what you do. And that can make you're not accountable. Because the first thing, you have to be transparent. Once you are transparent, you can be accountable. But once you're not transparent, you're not going to be accountable. Accountability and transparency are the features, are the centerpiece for good governance and democracy. So there is a need for Sierra Leone and them. So I say the present generation has failed. The reason because there are two phases to my, to my project, you understand? Um, the project is engaging citizens okay. and public institutions to imbibe or cultivate the ideas of democratic accountability. All right, we will talk more about the project inside the program, but let me talk first about the C4D. Yeah. You know, be it that you don't work with other civil society organizations for see that people them we deserve justice and salon be given such, and also you don't work very hard with different on different platforms for see that you advocate for people of Sierra Leone. Let me talk about the purpose behind the forming of C4D. Yeah. Um, thank you. Um, the rationale behind the establishment of C4D a, be carried by the mission and the vision, right? First, we look at the motto itself. The motto is, we inspire to aspire, okay. right? So I get this kind of motivation. Say, we need for inspire. Certain people, if you don't inspire them, so we aspire, that is, we are committed, you understand, to make sure, say, 
We inspire people there and empower them. That is the capacity development aspect. So they inspire, we well, aspire for inspire and empower. So that's Mostly, the mission behind that is, that is the, the, the motion they are, um, uh, um, the motto there. Okay. Whilst the, the, the mission, the similar thing, we say we aspire to inspire and empower citizens to imbibe or cultivate the ideals of democratic accountability. Ideals that idea, that a notion, that some people you forget. Because um, you don't go sabi if they don't teach you. Yeah. You don't go sabi if, like we talk about democratic accountability, a lot of people don't know about democratic accountability. You understand? Because this is like a new, it, it, it don't exist. It gets in society that we focus on accountability. Why put it democratic accountability? You understand? Because we all get from that. So I look at the whole situation and say, um, the reason why Sierra Leone don't retrogress progressively in a geometric progression as a result of the fact say Sierra Leoneans have never been accountable. Okay. We don't let we don't let for talk about accountability. You understand? We don't let, let somebody question we on which you don't do. You give me ten thousand now, say, go buy some tin dog and a cam, I'll go, I'll go buy. I don't let for make you 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 you, you question me. Now make I say the present generation has failed. So having seated, me and a man I read I read so much. Um, me I'm a political historian as well. So as a result of that, I find out say since independence, even before independence, we the, the colonial masters we are never accountable to the people of Sierra Leone. You understand? Then post colonial era camp, post independence era camp, we forefathers them or we the, the leadership, the one that we take power, they have never been accountable. And no country no continued progress. Most developed countries in the world now because they take accountability and transparency as their priority. So as you say, we don't go beyond, we are not progressing. We are still standing on the same thing. When independence come, people don't go talk, ah, there is no need to celebrate. You understand? Because of the fact, say, what do you go boast for? Or what do you go boast about? Say, this tells you, yes, we have achieved this, we have achieved this. Our leaders have failed. Even us, we have failed. Because you need to take action. If you fail to take action, that is an inaction. An inaction or omission. It means you failed to perform your responsibility. You understand? So if you either act on certain things, but if you don't act, you see the thing they go on, you don't act. You self don't contribute to the failure of this nation. So that make I decide to say, okay, I have to focus on picking them. You understand? And that is school going people. But you say we'll talk later for the pro about the project. Yeah. So, so far, so good. I get a vast area for look at, right? We get for even look at education accountability. Education accountability, I don't want to make the Minister of Education scared. Say, hey, they want to check, we know. We they look at, for example, why there is failure in WASC exam. Okay. Why is failure in Becker exam? You get plenty of strings attached. You understand? And then strings that we attach. We get one fair way for find out and make the world and the people know say that this. Then we make a kind of recommendations okay. so that government go by them. Because you don't go imagine the situation, they say there is a free quality education, of course, which is good, a good initiative by the president. We go help this country for progress because education is very, very important. Mandela say that through education, that the, the, the son of a farmer, they become a president. You understand? So, we, education is very important. So forgive the free quality education is fine, but it's not all that. You understand? We're not for living in a world of dreams and imaginations. What's important are the facts say we for actualize them. Now there is this free quality education going on. We get for look at why is it successful or not successful? Teachers, they need money. Are they paid in a way we will motivate them? And apart from that, you can even pay teachers millions. Some, not to all man get the spirits. Some for going to class have a problem. You also need effective and efficient monitoring. That's the difference between the private school and the government school. Okay. I don't teach both sides, understand. So we for look at that, we look at educational accountability. We also get for look at telecoms governance. We get for look at offline and online freedom. Because the final say we are having so many laws now. All that now for now for um, um, intimidate individuals and restrain them from expressing their own opinion, their views. So we get for a look at that. We get for a look at data privacy. These are areas we they cover. You understand them? Data privacy is very important. Before they pass this um, um, cyber bill into law, they for not come first with data privacy. Data in many countries, right? Best practice, data privacy first. Then from there, you come, you come with uh, um, that particular disability. You look at um, information under transparency. 
we have, should have access to information. Are we having access to information? You understand? That is also questionable. You understand? When you look at uh, natural resources, environmental and natural resources governance, you understand? Because these are the things we don't really make with the Gubian. Contracts, for example, with the GIG contract. That is the thing that we don't put with the end. We look at subvention, where government gives subvention. Say, for example, this ministry, government gives, for example, um, 10 billion. The non pronounced answer we say in the budget, right? Say, government give this ministry as to 10 billion. So if they give, if they're, they're supposed to give 10 billion, but then they get on time, when you don't get on time, that's stagnation, we didn't move. Then they just did it because the money no day. And most times, government they delay in doing that. All right. Okay, that's now Marcos Bangura, we happen for be the founder and the executive director for Citizens Forum for Democratic Accountability. We was we go for a short break and when we come back, we will talk more on the project then we then get in plan for execute. Sierra Network is the network that bridges the gap between the diasporas and those within Sierra Leone by providing authentic and factual news on a daily basis. And we at Sierra Network Salon take pride in quality and productivity is our utmost priority in service delivery to the communities we serve. We expect and professionalism at all times. Our service to the people of Sierra Leone is paramount in what we do. We constantly strive for innovation and the best that meets the demands of the people in Sierra Leone. Our passion and creativity oversees the work we produce. We work as a team to provide you the best in news, media, comedy, entertainment and all your event coverages. Sierra Network is here to offer you the best. We engage the people to learn about Sierra Leone's culture and history. This is Triple A from Sierra Network. This is Dr. Isetu Kake Jalo from Sierra Network Health Talk and Discovery. This is Ishmahi Dadis Bangura from Sierra Network Comedy and Production. This is Abib Kaloko from Sierra Network Media. This is Sila Kemtakabu from Sierra Network Media. This is Aisatu Smai Sise from Sierra Network, Talk to the Camera. This is Kona Sise from Sierra Network, Talk to the Camera. This is Samuel Bright from Sierra Network Media. This is Mohamed Eskagbu from Sierra Network Production and Comedy. This is Justice A.M. Tijan from Sierra Network Media. This is Salima Sukaki from Sierra Network, Tell Me Salon. Sierra Network Salon, where Sierra Leone is never too far at 56 Campbell Street, second floor, Freetown, Sierra Leone. You can call us at plus 232-77-425637 or plus 1646-610-3136. Or visit us on the web at snradio.net or sncfny.org. Welcome back, viewers, and don't forget to see the program where you listen and watch. Now, Salon Money Discoveries with me, Kuna Sise. And inside the program, I'm there with Marcos Bangura, we happen for be the executive director for Citizens Forum for Democratic Accountability. And inside the program today, we will talk about issues we get for the newly launched civil society organization, the C4D, where it comes for talk about things that we then plan for do, and also things that we don't do as an activist, we advocate for the people of Sierra Leone. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. Bangura. Let me talk about the people we really target. Yeah, um, generally, are the target Sierra Leoneans. Okay. Specifically, are the target public institutions, okay. right? So in generality, now all Sierra Leoneans, specifically now public institutions, because school self are a public one, okay. the ministries are a public one. Okay. So we target them because now then they work for we. You get, you get different sectors, you get the private sector, you get the public sector. But we focus exclusively for the, 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 the public sector. Because if, for example, government, 
up to, um, um, is it, which was 21% for education. I think it's about 24 now. You understand? So if the government give that percent of money, we actually need for money to them, then also therefore be accountable. Okay. Because the only thing about democratic accountability, if will be therefore only to account okay. on which you do. All right. Um, when you talk about accountability and responsible people, responsibility where people get foresee that they constantly push go before, when you give somebody responsibility, indeed you get for be accountable for her. And when you look out Sierra Leone in general, in different aspects, from Peking to big person, be it in a school, you know, in whatsoever organization we you find yourself in, the issue of accountability is a great cause of concern, you know. So, in what way will you get for go about for see that the people get the knowledge on how to be accountable? Yeah, um, as I say, just like we, you know, talk, accountability as a real is absent. And that make we day in a standstill. We are not moving. We day in constant flux. You understand? We are, we day they move. So I got various methods we are they use. One, a public education, right? As I say, I'm not gonna take cane, go beat person in a ministry, but we the mount pressure. But in the first place, you get for emancipate the mind from mental slavery. You get for emancipate the mind. From, from anything we don't become addicted in them. You understand? So that addiction can be transformed through education. So it's a public education thing. And the whole thing for us is a civic education program. This the project, they focus exclusively on civic education, right? And um, focusing on civic education, increase public awareness, like a major tool, right? public education, that advocacy as well. They all look alike, but then gets their niche, you understand? So with the focus on that, then also engagement. We the engage uh, public institutions or social unions, right? Then also we the do research. It's another way, and we do reports. Doing research and do reporting. Through that, people are able to know on the specific things then. We don't undertake special studies. On a particular thing, we undertake a special study for just for make we able for source information. And most of which you get for do that participatory research method. Participatory. You come, you, you talk with the people then. You understand? Then from there you get you get information. They just go meet an individual. We meet, we can do right talk. For example, if you're at school, like we are the target, I get for target school, we'll have the first point, right? They pick them, they get for write stories. They write their own stories okay. about accountability. Which you don't understand about accountability. So I'll tell you, you maybe don't send you for go do particular things. So I'll tell you, go buy a book at school. So I'll tell you, you go, the book at 5,000, you come, you say, now 15,000. So we want to write on their own secretly. You understand? They're not even put name safe. Right? We all want to want for no. We want for, we want for, we use a barometer. I think their own experience. Their experience at adolescence age, okay. stage. You understand? Okay. Their own experience about accountability. Have they been accountable? Or they have not been accountable. So they write their own stories. It's a storytelling thing. So you write your stories, we look at her, we assess her. Perhaps at the end of the day, we they put their stories there into book. Put them into book and share them out so that the new one that we come, they will learn from that is not good. Because they're going to make a recommendation. They advise to the others when they reach it. Because you get peer pressure. Sometimes you get friends that way, they mount pressure upon you for undertaking a particular thing. Say, so, no, go do this thing. No, go, you understand that? So, now, some of the aspects that that, and these are the challenges okay. we'll be using, just for make people um, imbibe the culture of accountability. Okay. Yes. Yes. You don't talk about the channels and the first project we want to get for go into, but then we talk about the different projects then we want to get for the life. Yes. Um, we get um, various projects, okay. but for now, I just focus on the main one. Okay. Right? Like educational accountability, where I mentioned, it gave for be a project on its own, but it's not now. For now, we major projects, right, is engaging public institutions and citizens to cultivate the ideals of democratic accountability. This gets two phases, phase one and two. Phase one, the targets school picking them. That are use them as a pilot stage. You understand? The target schools. Um, we say nurturing 
the minds of school-going peoples to cultivate the ideas of democratic accountability. So they nurture their minds. They say, with them bone picking, in, in mind, it's as white and empty, like a white paper or satin. It is learned from experience. Which is seen in they do, in the dwarf. When you go to school, like how you see things that happen, they, 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 in Bible, like in the photocopy arm, that you mind, you understand it? Eh? So we did target them because we know, say, though to some extent, large number, because of the, the forces of um, uh, uh, social, the agents of uh, socialization, we at the home and all that go down in Bible today. But when they come in that perspective, make sure we nurture them. So which is the objective of this, um, which is uh, catch them young. Okay. Understand? Yes. We need to catch them young because the present generation has failed. All right, so catching them young is like um, putting under the mind for say, we need to be accountable. We need to be accountable. So accountable. Grow up, yes. Grow up as accountable. Accountable people. people yeah. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be. It's not short term, but we start now. You understand? Because imagine why in there and get for check public institutions, uh, uh, get for can various side in there. For example, why we teach most of my students there. You go to various areas. You see them. Okay. You understand? Eh? Mm -hmm. So because. What you learn them, which you then learn, you understand, eh? that that's an implementable science. I make mean, I can only say, if you want to know where the future of a country lies, go to the university. The characteristics of the university, the way that they do things, then they reflect the society. Like when for me, college, other institution, also in the fed by election, it's reflecting. When election come to the Because the university for serve as an example. So that one historian, Ali Mazui, say, if you want to know where the future of a country lies, go to the university. It's like a mirror. You see, the ice is not itself, but by the reflection of some other thing. The university is like a mirror to see what happens in society or the country. All right. For carrying out all them projects and they, and for both world and platform and they, it gets for with funding. Yeah. And one go wonder how the C4D for they do for get funding. Yes. Um, it's a newborn baby. Um, I think one American president say, say, not so which you, 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 your country for do for you, not which you for do for your country. I establish and with a vision, say, I will start a project. So I take a project where I feel, say, I get two dimensions of the project. One, if I don't get sponsorship, I they go meet them at school. I don't go pay for that. You understand? And talk to them generally. If I get a support, I go invite certain schools. I get workshop with them. Because I intend to get clubs now most of the schools there. So I talk, for example, each school, they send five representatives or ten representatives. You can't even Alex large or any other side, you get them, you know, take some time for people to educate them. You get people where they come, where they get training, where they can do presentations. You understand? When I get funding, I can do that because I get forgetting transport and all that. If that not be, I can go to the schools and talk to them. You understand? That I want with them. Also, how many get that small money day? I mean, an author. I've written books. For example, I gave me government a history book. It is of high demand. Okay. Then they buy them. So that's small resources why they get it. And they use them for actually sponsor. Okay. You understand? Eh? Right. Or fund this particular project. All right, you already don't get a government and history book no. where this will be kinetic. I source of funding. Yes. yes. Is it that you get for also get a book on accountability? Definitely. Definitely. Right. I need for write something about accountability. Okay, that would be a handbook. A handbook okay. about accountability. Okay. Um when we have government can help. It can help you make sure say they buy in large numbers, in large numbers, and make sure say every institution and every employee gets that, that, that particular book. Right, yes, yeah, so you can't forget initiative. Not only really depend. You make up the initiative, you, you go sell them out, then keep it buying, then keep it printing. Salon printing can even help you then print them out. You get it, architects multi say this go to the free quality education. Okay. You understand? Eh? Let five or ten percent go there. Then the other one can be can use them for fun. All that for develop salon. All right. Due to your experience when you get inside this field, you know, and we don't talk about series of challenges when people in advocacy they go through, you know, how you go see that, you know, the C four D, even if you go through them challenge them yeah, so come out victorious because we don't see several civil society organizations we don't start very well but not able for both in the end. Um in life if you get a vision, you can fail in which you do, but if vision of fail. Even if you fail in your activity, like we I don't take this so, I fail. I for still cling to my vision. Then go make us succeed. Then also you for endeavor for make sure say 
you stand out from the crowd and you make a difference. You get a lot of people, as you put them, don't start then, then demise. You understand? So you get for make a difference. And that difference is for make you stand out from the crowd. You get civil society, we are pro-government, we are anti-government. So you get for able for do the balance. That is where you stand out from the crowd. You understand? They make that difference. And for also make sure say, I get good report government. I forget good report government. Right. I work with government. I can support any government. You understand? Based on development as far as its accountability issues. So you see, so these are some of the areas that we, I think, say, are for really push out. All right, finally, what thing you they expect? What thing the C4D they expect from the people we will not for see that then get the knowledge and accountability? And also, what thing the people for expect from them? We they expect cooperation from the people because it's very difficult for make we succeed. Let's say we, do, we decide for Latin research, right? We need cooperation for, like, this um, storytelling, what I tell you about. With the picking at the end, because of four months project, at the end of the four months, we they make sure school picking for various schools write their own stories. And when they write their own stories, right, we put them together, right. Um, that will be helpful to society. You understand? Then also, um, we for be we for be we for be honest, Sagalunians. I don't want a situation where you begin get bottlenecks, as they see so the people are afraid. You understand? So now make I want the understanding, general understanding between me and government. I get for send partnership letters. I don't begin sending them out. For create partnership and collaboration with certain institutions right. so that we're able to work together. Because you know we work alone. No man is an island, nobody and no man stands alone. It's a collaborative effort. We put all hands on deck, we stand tall, we see say this thing that a common enemy. So for come together with strong force for propel and get rid of that common enemy, then there will be social economic development. And that makes me vision say, we want a society where it's transparent, it's accountable, with effective and efficient service delivery and national cohesion. Mm -hmm. These things put together, Sarah Lee will move. All right, plenty thank you to you, Marcus mm -hmm. Bangura, when you join me inside the program. Thank you very much for the question. Viewers, you just don't listen from Mr. Marcus Bangura. We happen for be the founder and executive director for Citizens Forum for Democratic Accountability. As he don't talk about how he come into advocacy, the reason why make a decide for form the C4D, and also the project and plans we then get for carry out. Don't forget the program where you just listen and watch. Now Salon Morning Discoveries, and I also we go put down the curtain, and we will be in the program catch you today. My name is Nakuna Sise. Don't forget say the only way we will be able for to receive more and more news and views from we that way you subscribe so that you say go join we anytime when we post a new video of the program. So till we meet again to another edition of Salon Morning Discovery. Tata. -ta.